the second movie that we were watching this week mm-hmm. is Women Talking. Um, very different, I guess. I don't, I don't know. I'm trying to think of like a good word to put Women Talking because I I did like it right off the bat. Mm-hmm. Um, hard to watch. The I won't say theme. The center problem is a very difficult one to talk about. Right. I think. Um but, makes a lot of especially sense. As two men. <laughs> yeah. As two, you know, two straight men, you know, um, it is a very uh difficult thing to talk about. Yeah. So yeah. So the synopsis? Uh give me a second. Um brought it up earlier. I think I did have it. I mean, I can read it. I got it right here in front of me. Oh, if you got it, yeah, go for it, man. The woman of an isolated religious colony revealed a shocking secret about the colony's men. For years, the men have asked, uh, occasionally, drugged the women and raped them. The truth comes out, the women talk about their new situation. So, if I drug a lady, do they have to forgive me? I mean, if you live in this colony, yes. It, 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 it's odd, Kramer. It's very yeah. odd. Like the very beginning, I found a little bit relieved. Like, ah, because I don't want to read the very beginning. The lady attacks one of the guys, like goes in the shed and yeah. swipes down somebody. I don't know if she killed him or injured him. I don't, I don't think because he got arrested. So probably injured him, but didn't kill him. At the very right. least. It was crazy. Yeah. It was nuts. Um, and one thing... Okay, so if you watch this movie in black and white and you listen to the storyline, it could potentially become a horror flick. Like, the women go to sleep, wake up bloody and raped and molested. Yeah. So well, it can it yeah. can't, like, it actually could turn into that. And to these women, these are their nightmare. Because if you're a woman, you really want to go to sleep? If knowing that your friend, your sister got raped in the middle of the night? No, you really don't. So how can you live your life? And this is really troublesome because you got people out there doing this kind of stuff. And that, it really bothers me. And this isn't like based 1960. If I'm mistaken, this is 2010. Uh, well, somewhere I think they said somewhere between 20, 2005 and, and 2010. No, it was or, 2010. Or, or 2010? Yeah, it yeah, was yeah, 2010 yeah. Because there was a truck saying 2010 census. Yes, yes. Which threw me off because I thought this was set like back in the day. I did but too. But then, it was then you find out. Yeah, it was an yeah um, a Mennonite, Mennonite yeah. colony. Yeah. yeah, so, but yeah. Yeah, so they, that was like, ah, uh, because you really don't know that until one part of the movie with with the car. Mm-hmm. I'm like, I'm like, wait, is a car with speakers and they're playing? Uh, what are they playing? We have George, Daydream Believer. Yeah. Um, I forgot who, who who the Daydream Believer, but yeah, um, which also is like kind of, um, kind of trippy. Is of the what the song is like, Daydream Believer. So they these women thinking they can actually change the, the the men in this con. And right right off the bat, it also says like this didn't actually happen. This was like what like what did it say something along like this is like a, a f- fictional what? conversation of of women. Yeah, so, so, something uh, it was yeah yeah. yeah so mind. like right off the bat, it told you like this isn't true like. This hasn't happened. This won't happen. Kind of situation. So you're kind of like, okay, I guess. <laughs> but yeah. No, I, well, yeah. I mean, yeah. I don't know. I don't know. Uh, where's it gonna be used on YouTube? <laughs> Is that what you said? Yeah, yeah. But that's, I mean, we're we're critically talking about this movie, and that's a that's a big part of it. But yeah, the the R word, <laughs> I guess. You know, what a lot of people. Oh, I said but, I said the R word. Yeah, it's fine. It's fine. I'm, I'm probably going to say it a few times as well because, because I mean, it's something, you know, YouTube doesn't like it because 
because of what it is. It's you know, it is something that's bad, but the word itself isn't bad. And and I mean, it's it's the action be- of it is bad. You know, it's yeah. it's, it's 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 all kind of effed up. Right. Um, you know, but obviously I'm gonna, I'm gonna yeah, it, it's literally part of the plot. You know, it's it's these women are not educated, so they can't read or write, and they 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 even the 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 uh, narrator said like, but that night we learned how to vote, and they literally drew pictures. They drew pictures like, do we stay? So they drew like the field and home. Do we fight? And they show like them st- stabbing the men. You know, or do we do we run? You know, Which when they the show horse, like the, the horse, the rear of the horse, yeah. yeah. Um. And they had a vote, and then all the women went in there and just kind of like put an X by whatever picture. And obviously, the two, you know, the the fight and run were were definitely the two most most voted for. I think Stay had like a couple X's, you know, right. but yeah, but it was definitely like it. it, it the the whole movie had a very like because these women had had to figure out what to do with all the women in this colony. You know, so and it was just like, what, what, what do we do? You know, so it was very democratic in a sense because they all had to yeah. agree on it. So it, it reminded me of very like like political kind of stuff, um, you know, like that. So, but yeah, yeah. So this one, um, I am looking. Um, so between twenty two thousand and five, two thousand and nine, between those years, one hundred and fifty women and young girls were were drugged and raped by men in their um in their community in bolivia so this is kind of loosely based on that you know um but yeah and it's a canadian writer you know this is like her not one of her novels um but man yeah i mean it was hard to watch it was it was hard for me man it was hard to watch it's extremely hard to watch there's like i don't know like we were discussing before we even went on air, that one scene, you know, with the sick girl, the little sick girl. Yeah, a four-year-old. A four-year-old. Ugh. It was that shit like that. I mean, I don't know. That oh, really. And, and, that really, you know, I'm a father of a seven-year-old. Yeah. So of you know, a little girl. I mean, some of you guys already know this, but shit like that is like. I don't know. It was like it, it, I'm confused, lost, angry, all at once, and there's yeah. a lot more emotions to it. And these are just women. Now, if you're a woman, what can you do? Because you have to forgive them. If not, if we you die, you're not going to be allowed in heaven. But yeah. yeah, okay. So now spiritually. You not only be attacked physically, now spiritually, spiritually. So, what can you do, honestly? Yeah, yeah. You know, and in the movie, you had you had the one uh, the one woman who was just like, like, no, let's stay and fight, and like, pretty much, I like, kill them all, or kind of yeah. attitude. Um, yeah. You had another one that said like, let's run. You had another one that says like, oh, let's ha- have the men change. You know. And then there's uh, another argument that came up. I was like, oh, let's, what about if the men leave? You know, and like, in my head, the whole time, I'm like, n- like, none of it. Like, 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 staying and fighting, maybe because, like, obviously the women make the food because that's what they're told to do. So you can easily kill, like, all the men in one night, like, pretty easy. Like, yeah. like, very, very, <laughs> very easy, you know, because they all probably eat around the same time. And, yeah, that they so like to me, I was like like that never really came up if I remember, um, with it, you know. But le- I thought leaving, I was like just leave, like you know. You also run the risk of like them coming back and finding. But right, yeah, it was it was it was it was an in- interesting conversation because I feel like this is like something that a lot of women, um, obviously not are not in that exact position, but in in a position of like domestic violence, you know, they're stuck at home, um other kind of uh rape victims and, and stuff like that is like the, the, here you have a group of what was it like 10 or 12 15 maybe women in, in the barn trying to figure out 
Yeah, um, what to do? Where you know, a lot of times it's probably just in your head. You know, in in some of these women's heads, it's like, what do I do? Do I go to police? You know, what if it's like it's my boss or it's my uncle or it's like you know, God forbid, like you know, somebody in the family stuff like that. There's a lot of like things that I'm sure like this is you know, do like what what do I do? So yeah, I was, mean, yeah, yeah I mean, you you made up a good point because they make the food and like you said, they could have. That's the one episode, Game of Thrones kind of thing. Yeah. Put yeah. poison with the poison wine, everybody drinks it, they all die at once. Yeah. So they could have been easy done that way. And um I think if that scene would have been in there or something, it would have been like justice. You know, and I wouldn't have been upset. Yeah. Honestly. I would have been upset, honestly. Because these women eventually will have to do the fields and do the hard manual labor that the guys would do. And I mean, there was a several, one or two of them, one was like really strong minded and strong willed. Mm-hmm. Like, we'll just go on, we'll just do it, we'll do it. Yeah. That's all you basically need is someone to, to do that. Yeah. So, I mean, I think if that story was, that little scene was in there, Otis and like a little justice. I don't think anybody would have been upset. You know, well, I'm sure there's some people like that would have been upset. Some you know, dickhead you know people in the world. But I, I think yeah. But like for me, for sure. <laughs> I, <yeah. laughs> like I, I feel like that would have been a better resolution because there's secret, especially towards the end, especially after that scene with the four year old. Because then it's also with the four year old. Oh man, like, I don't. I obviously I can't. I don't want to talk about too much about that, but obviously right. the topic we're talking about, you can guess what happens with a four year old. Um, and I think a lot of the women in, in the colony, like that was the moment too. They're like, Oh, okay. This is like, what the, what the, what the F, what are we doing? You know? And um, for me, I wanted <laughs> to kill everybody. I wanted I'm like, just kill them. Just kill them. I mean, it can't be that hard. Right. I mean, you know, I'm sure there's some herbs that you can pick from flowers or drugs or whatever. I'm sure you, you can easily do well, it. Because right what are you gonna do? Pack up everything, you know, and then leave them. But I, but also they're they're also very religious, so killing is is a big no no. You know, they're already worried that the men won't forgive them, so they can't make it into heaven. You know, the men forgive them. <laughs> you know, think about that for a second. It's insane. You know, like it, so killing. Was I think was was never really talked about as much, um, but for me, I would have been like, F- kill them all, yeah. kill them all, who gives a shit, you know? Like, and then August brought up the point is like, well, you can raise the young men, the boys, and raise them right, and teach them to uh, to so. <laughs> you know, I'm gonna nah, I'm, I'm gonna watch uh, uh, Pascal on uh, SNL in a little bit, but yeah. <laughs> and then Brian, I'll kill them with my bare my bare hands. Pun intended. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But I mean, that's the issue. It's like all the men were okay with it. You know what I mean? Like they were okay with with it, and and it was it was it was hard, man. It was hard. It was hard knowing that this is you know stuff that actually happens, and it was. You know, I think I think I think I, I you for me is like you want to like cry, angry, punch. I just like punch the walls. Like, why is this? Why? Why is this? A, like, it's so allowed. Um, oh, it's just so fr- frustrated. Yeah, frustrated. Yeah, it's it's a harsh reality. And mm. like I said, you know, what someone athlete, that lacrosse player. Oh uh, yeah. Actually, did something similar to this. Uh huh. Well, so, yeah. yeah. When yeah. I when I saw that, it kind of reminded me of that. Yeah, he basically got off. So basically did the guys in this movie. That's why he, he had like similarities. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, he got a slap on the wrist, and now he. Well, I know it's way off topic, but he's trying to get it expunged from his record, which is. Yeah. Hey, he'll get it. We'll get it. Yeah, I don't know if he was, was he a swimmer. No, he was a swimmer. Not like lacrosse. lacrosse. I thought he was, it was, he was a, I think he was a swimmer. I don't oh. think there. I mean, there were lacrosse people. I'm sure there's just a lot of guys that do it. Um, but yeah, yeah, man. Um, 
the actresses were great. I'm trying to like say on like on on that topic. The actresses were great. Yeah, they all had different personalities. I think Frances uh, McDormand was in it. Um, who uh, you know she she's a she's a great actress. Mm-hmm. Um, I I liked her character in here. You know, but there there was um, a lot of great acting. And it was all I think besides August. Who was the the one guy? Um, every other line was 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 women. It was yeah. le- legit like all women. You know, in almost all the scenes, they would show some of the younger boys. I think they showed a few of the men. Yeah, but it was. It, I mean, it was all the women in in this in this one. Yeah. They showed a lot of kids. A lot, a lot of yeah. male kids. Yeah, even the little girls. There were the two little girls in the barn try, for talking. And but they were like young, so their attention wasn't as as focused as some of the older women. Right. You know, we had more emotions. Also, the older women had kids, where the younger girls, you know, didn't have kids. So like, I don't say they have less skin in on it, but they just don't have that 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 mindset yet of of mm-hmm. protecting. You know, not only me, but you know, my kids as well. You know, like right. Brian said, you know, I'm gonna kill somebody. You know, so yeah. Um, story was good. Story was interesting. It was very, very puts a lot of things in perspective, like of what women think about on a daily basis. You know, especially yeah. like victims of of this. Um, but um, yeah, I don't know. I don't know. What do you think? Anything stood out? Um, a lot of things stood out. You know, a lot of things that they're based on religion and your upbringing. Mm-hmm. It seems like they're being held back what they actually potentially can do. Mm -hmm. Um, And that's all because of their religion. And no matter what happens, and like, once again, this is, no, excuse me, and this is 2010. Because if if this is 1960, 1970, you probably, I can understand a little bit more, but this is 2010 now, you know, so a lot's changed from then. And the fact that they have to forgive the men where the men have to forgive them so therefore they could die and go to heaven is really odd and it's almost like a almost like a cult kind of thing where kind of. It, it's it's freaky it's freaky i mean mm-hmm. outside looking in it's like what the hell are you doing but from inside looking out i never been there okay i i never been there i never been in that situation thank god um and as far as females goes, it probably puts back female power a, a lot. It mm-hmm. probably, you know, it, it, it hurts them because you have guys out there like, see, this is the way it should be. This is the way life should be. Like this colony. That's how all women should be. And the truth of the matter is, it's not, not supposed to be that way at all. And yeah. this is my opinion. I'm sure people have different opinions and that's fine. But this is my opinion, so please don't attack me or from my friends, or family, whatever, or the show. But this is really, it hurts. It hurts so much to see something like this. Because, yes, it's life, and this happens in the world. Just the fact that it, it hurts the women. The women gets kicked back, like I said. Yeah. Yeah. Well, they're, they're the victims, and then as soon as they try to... Re- retaliate in any kind of way, you know. I, you know, obviously the mother um, that went to go attack that the it was a, a you know, I don't remember, but I think it was a young boy, like maybe like a older teenager that she attacked that when she found out raped her daughter. Um, you know, she went at it with like a sickle, I think it was right, or the yeah. little hook thing, whatever. And um, yeah, man, she. <sighs> You know, she was going to kill him. She was going to kill him. And then men had to hold her down. And then she's not only the victim now, but also like the problem. Like, no, it was your fault. You know, and that's always you. That's always the thing we always hear all the time. You know, it's like whenever you hear like any kind of rape issue it's like, well, what was she wearing? Like, oh, what, what, what? That's the question you want to ask, you right. know? So, you know, like, oh, was she drunk? I was like, they you know, and then same thing with this, you know, it's like. You know, like, oh, the men could do whatever they want because they're men, you know, and it was like, you know, yeah, 
it's just it's 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 like you say it's it's rough and it's 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 annoying it is to 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 know yeah oh man um but so before we get into like does this deserve to be on this uh the best picture list um the critics only there's only 217 critics give it a 90 percent so it's right up there with tar it's actually one below tar which is kind of crazy for me um <laughs> yeah and then the audience score although this I, I didn't see any promotions at all like none the first time of me hearing this movie was because of the it being nominated like I, I i never heard any commercials any posters anybody anywhere talking about this movie so you know yeah i know it's like a more indie i guess but right you know. Um, but the audience score, 100, 100 verified rating audience score, um, gave it 80%. Wow. So they're fairly close. Fairly, fairly close, close to Tar. To, well, yeah. Because yeah, Tar had tar 78. So yeah. 73, I think. Oh, 73. Okay. Yeah. I it was yeah. I could I don't remember. Um, but, uh, but one of the main, the one, the critics uh, said, while women uh, talking sometimes forsakes entertaining drama in favor of simply getting the points across, its message is valuable and effectively delivered. A hundred percent agreed with that. Mm-hmm. I, I think so. I, I think so. Because it, it doesn't really hide the fact of this is what we're talking about. How do we handle what we talk about? You know, and, you know, it doesn't really get into any other like. Like like drama or stuff like that, you know. Like right. it just stays on topic and and it it hits hard, man. It hits hard, you know. So, um, but with that being said, what were you gonna put this? Does this deserve to be on the best pictures of twenty twenty two list? I, I'm gonna say yes. Um, it's a it's a disgusting, horrifying topic and truth that's out there that people turn a blind eye to, or um. The other cheek, whatever they say, but yes, I, I would strongly believe it does deserve a top ten. It'll be mm-hmm. low on a ten, considering I have not seen any of the movie yet. So uh, it's going to be low on the yeah. top ten as of right now. Of course, shit would change in the, in the upcoming weeks, but yeah, it's a it's a good movie, and I can't believe I'm going to say this, but maybe it's a movie you should watch with children male and female boys and girls just to say hey see what happened that is not right that is not right if anybody touches you in a certain way or that ever happens you come let me know yeah Yeah. you know just just have them aware open up it is a a pg-13 rating for 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 the very intense subject that they talk about it's only pg-13 which like you said i think that's good you know Young maybe depends on your kid, but I think uh, like a teenage for sure, for sure, right. like teenage, and that's even a point that they bring up in the movie is like, well, if we leave, which kids do we bring with? Do we bring all our boys? What you know, and and the whole topic is like, well, twelve and under. If your boy is twelve and under, well, what about thirteen? You know, it's like, and that like, it's kind of <laughs> that's like a whole issue with like the censorship of you know or the ratings, you know, PG thirteen. But I think PG thirteen is a good, yeah rating for it you know because i i do think along with you like um some younger um people should watch it you know maybe like just understand you know what i mean like and like th- this happens in the world you know and and like you said you have a, a daughter so it's a very different uh conversation that that you with a daughter and other people with daughters need to have of um like hey you know you need to look out for this or you need to look out for that you know like you gotta like have them be self-defense all the time you know which is annoying and then i have a son so like my conversation with it is very different like hey don't do this don't be a piece of crap you know don't do that it's like come on man like you know consent and all this other you know like stuff that should happen so you know i mean it, it is definitely good i think for for younger girls and boys to watch it to understand like man you know granted these these are people not living in our society because they're mennonites but it doesn't change the fact that this happens in our society you know so it's rough it's rough yeah um it is, it is rough. but you're putting it on the list i'm not putting it on the list it's a great movie and i think 
a lot of people should watch it. As many people should watch it as much as possible. Um, I don't I don't consider it one of the better movies of the year. It doesn't have one of the best messages and one of the best. uh, uh Uh, message like message i guess i don't know um to be told than in any other movie um okay. so. it's a sensitive topic sorry my bad. it is no it's okay. <laughs> it, it's a it's a it's a really sensitive topic it's subject um that's why the only reason is on the list top 10 um just for educational purposes that's the only reason i kind of want to say because yeah then it's something they need to be aware of. And from, you know, having a little girl, something that they she needs to be aware of. And I think us as adults, we, we already know better because we've yeah. heard it, we've lived through it, not lived through it, but we've heard of it and we've seen people, we've seen movies. But as a little girl, they don't know nothing about it. Yeah. You know, not, nothing at all. I mean, they think it's funny games. They think it's a toy. They think it's this is what they naturally do, but that's not the case. That's not the point. You know, we this is something they need to be show awareness, and this is why it's on the list. So, it, like I said, it's more of an educational purpose for me and on my end. But yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I mean, I can see why why the ratings are so high because yeah, for sure, you know. Yeah. Um, but like for for me. I think it's a movie everyone should watch. I'm not going to put it as one of the best movies of the year, um, but that doesn't mean it's not a good movie, you know, because I think it right. is a good movie and a lot of people should watch it, right. you know, um, especially if you have younger kids, you know, if that's a subject you want to get into, this might be a little rough at first, but, you know, you know, it's, it's, a, it's a topic that, you know, people need to talk about, especially with their kids, you know what I mean? And, and that's a big issue in this movie is like, what do we, what do, we do with our kids? You know, what do we do with our little boys? Can they be retrained? You know, can they stop being little, you know, dickheads and, and you know, touching girls when they shouldn't and stuff like that? Right, so, exactly. And then know, that's, what, but, that's what it stems from the parents, you know, and this is where I think something like this is, you know, like I said, educational. Yeah, it's important. I think it's important to, it is. you know, it, it's, 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 a, you know, you know, everyone always talks about the birds and bees, you know, kind of conversation. You know, th- this should be there as well. You know, it, it's something like this, you know, like consent, respect, self autonomy and, and, and they, all that, all that like stuff, you know, that, you know, certain people want to say it's woke or whatever the hell they want to say. But, you know, I think it's important. Yeah. But, um, but yeah, man. So. I think that's it. That's it for women talking. Like I said, I think we, we both liked it. You know, I think, I think we both enjoyed it um, mm-hmm. for what it was, you know? Um, but, oh man. Um, so if you're watching live, um, we, we, this, this is going to be our, like, I don't say artsy fartsy kind of movies, but definitely are, are movies that are more, not just serious, but have like a deep message and very artsy. If you find tar artsy as well. Um, this one is one of those message movies. I think every year has one, you know, like, like a message about something, you know, either. Yeah. You know, but, oh man, definitely, definitely a, a, a rough one to watch, but much needed. But yeah, man. So that's what we think about women talking. Um, we just did tar. So I'll make sure I'll link a tar, um, to that as well. And going forward, we're going to do every Friday. We're going to do two more movies of the best nominated pictures of 2023 going into the Oscars. Um, I think Oscars is March 12th or 13th, whatever that yeah. Sunday is. Mm-hmm. Um, so we got, we still got a bunch of other movies, you know, we got Avatar, Top Gun, Maverick, um, uh, Banshees of Incheren, you know, a bunch of other ones as well. So, yeah. So we're going to get um, into all those as well. Yeah. I mean, it's going to be a fun season, a fun year. It really is. Um, a lot of good movies. Yeah, there is gonna be a lot of good movies. Movies that yeah. once again, I would have never seen either, either of these movies, and uh, mm-hmm. because of we're doing this, actually puts up my mind um, to uh, art, artsy movies. I guess. I don't know. And I don't know why is it me, but I looks like I have a cross on my head, <laughs> on my forehead. I don't know. 
Am I a devil or something? <laughs> Just Just Ash Wednesday? Shadows. Yeah. Right. <laughs> Mardi Gras coming up. Yeah. <laughs> Ash Wednesday should be coming up, I think. Mm-hmm. Um, but cool um like i said man this one it's just hard to talk about especially two two guys talking about this subject you know yeah. it's 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 really rough uh, yeah, it but is. um with that being said um we want to if you're watching live we're going to talk hang out we're going to talk a little bit more if you're watching on replay hit that like button hit that subscribe button we're also doing a contest for our 2023 oscar movies so yes. um the link is in the description if it's live it's pinned to the side um and you can vote for your best uh for your best picture and all the other categories i think we're doing the top like 13 ish categories not uh, not everything because that's be way too long um but we're doing some of the bigger bigger categories and then whoever wins if we get enough people uh playing in the contest this year whoever wins um uh, whoever gets the most correct uh we're, we'll give a little gift card or something away um yeah. as a as a as a thank you for playing you get a autograph post-it note from me or something <laughs> yeah <laughs> just like tie it yeah. right now <laughs> yeah. Yeah. yeah there you go <laughs> um but no we'll, we'll, do, we'll do like a little gift card like a like a like a little gift card or something like that um but um yeah so, so click that link join in on the contest of uh, your predictions of that um but do that and then we will see you guys next friday with two more movies um and throughout this this whole uh ordeal we're gonna do uh we're gonna bring some guests on so we're gonna have some guests yes before before the end of it all so that's gonna be super fun as well um but that is it for that one like i said if you're live stick around we are gonna hang out but that is it for women talking we'll see you guys in the next video see you later